In this video, we'll make our own maple syrup from home. Let's go. So before you go and drill random holes in trees in your backyard, it's important to know that the type of tree matters. In this video, I'm using sugar maples. However, you can also use red maples, which are very common. The blue piece of tape on my drill bit is measured two inches up so I can drill exactly two inches deep on every tree. This is a 7 16 inch drill bit and the taps I'm using are just standard maple syrup taps. You can find them online and they're not expensive. As you can see I'm drilling at a slightly upward angle. This helps the sap run down your tap and into the container below. I should also mention that the time of year is important for making maple syrup. Uh, in this part of Pennsylvania, we tap trees around Valentine's Day, which you want to shoot for when temperatures are above freezing during the day and below freezing at night. This tree started dripping as soon as it was tapped, which is a good indicator that the time is right and the trees are ready. Now it's time to attach your container to catch the sap coming out. In this case, I'm using a milk jug, uh, which I cleaned out with bleach water thoroughly uh, to make sure they were clean. Uh, I'm using a zip tie to cinch them down to the tap hook that hangs down. It's really pretty easy. That way you can take them on and off. Before you know it, your milk jugs will be full of sap. So right here, I'm dumping them into a food grade five gallon bucket to carry down and um, boil down on the wood stove. Uh, some of the sap might freeze in the bottom of the jug like that, but you do your best to get it out. Here's where you'll need a heat source to reduce your sap. It takes about 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. I'm using a wood stove, but you could use an outdoor propane burner or uh, for small quantities, just a kitchen stove. Here I'm finishing the maple syrup on my kitchen stove. Uh, you want to make sure it reaches that magic 219 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever is 7 degrees above boiling for your specific elevation. Uh, now I'm filtering the syrup through cheesecloth into a canning jar. You could use any kind of fabric to do that, but you should filter it before you can it. Make sure you put the lid on tight so it will seal itself and can be stored at room temperature. And that's how maple syrup is made. Thanks for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.